know if you saw the story recently in the Daily Mail. Um, it was a tragic story. A, a gentleman called Alan Ellis, uh, he was ex-military, and he was trying to set up a game business. I believe selling game, doing stalking days, that sort of thing. And uh, he was having a real problem setting up the website and getting everything up and running. And he was pumping more and more money into it. And it just wasn't working. And sadly, in the end, he got a final demand from the, you know, one of the people who was lending them the money, saying, we want £40,000. And he forwarded the email on to his wife, um, saying, that's it then. And then shot himself. Tragic story. Most people read the story and were like, oh, this is really sad. Except for, of course, the hunt saboteurs and the antis, as you would expect. It got shared on, I think it was the, the, the National Hunt Saboteurs Association. And as you would expect, really deeply unpleasant comments, as we all know that, that you would get from these sorts of people. But there was just one person called Tommy Woodward, who decided to comment and say, best use of a gun I can think of. And he also said, um, if you choose to own a gun um, and shoot things for pleasure, then you might as well kill yourself. You know, endorsing it, laughing, essentially. But it just so happens that Tommy Woodward is a councillor for, for Rydale District Council. And when this got shared on the Pigeon Watch forums on Farms UK and a few other places, and we all got together and we started making complaints to this council. We started posting on their Facebook wall, um, we started sending them emails. I believe ex gamekeeper gave them a ring and said that the, by the time he spoke to the guy there, he sounded really stressed because they were obviously worrying about you know, damage limitation. And uh, it culminated in uh, Basque getting involved, they issued a press release, there was uh, a couple of local newspapers got involved, um, and if you look behind me by the way, the, those are the comments that he made, there's a screenshot, I don't know if the original story is there anymore because of course they probably took it down, but uh, as I said he was also then interviewed on the radio, um, and the, the interviewer really did, a, you know, he, well I say he did a number on him, he just asked him some honest questions, but either way, if you look here, no, I was just going to say, so are you saying that people who shoot animals should use the gun to kill themselves? That's what it appears to be on the Facebook page. Well, no, that's not exactly what I meant. What I said, what I, I, was, I was talking about a story or commenting on a story where someone got depressed. And if I remember rightly, didn't he, didn't he end up calling his wife around and then shot himself in front of her or something? Um, I, I, I don't know. I haven't had that to hand. Um, but I believe right. he, he was... He was um, a uh, a game hunter and a soldier. Yeah, yeah. Now, as as I as I've said to someone else uh, earlier today, I'm anti gun. I'm, I, I don't like killing at all. I don't, from from the very you know Tony Blair taking us into illegal wars in Iraq, right down to people going out and shooting rabbits and pheasants and what have you for fun. To me, the only the only reason anybody would have a gun is to kill something. The only reason guns were invented was to kill things. I disagree with killing, full stop. So what I, all I am saying is, just as I disagree with drink driving, full stop, all I'm saying is, if you are going, if you are, if you are angry enough or desperate enough to go and kill something, it's better it's yourself. Yeah, this guy was just digging and making very kind of nonsensical comments. I mean, talking about drink driving and things. And it's like, well, even if you're going to use that argument, you know, you were saying, oh, I don't approve of people shooting at all. Just like he's saying, just like I don't approve of people drink driving. And I'm like, well, yeah, but if they didn't drink and drive, you'd still let them drive, wouldn't they? But you don't want us to shoot at all, apparently. In fact, you know, and that's really compounded by the fact that a girl from Farms UK was targeted about this time last year and she doesn't hunt quarry. So surely these guys should like her, you know, and think, well, yeah, I mean, she doesn't do anything in their eyes that's wrong. Um, but yet she had a phone number and an address and all these other details posted online. She had these hunt saboteurs phoning up her uh, work and complaining about her. Um, and, uh, you know, it really, you know, upset her and caused her lots of problems. Because that's what these people are like. I mean, look behind me, look at them. They're going to show their faces, will they? Because they're ashamed of what they do. They know what they do is wrong. We don't hide our faces. I mean, maybe in a pigeon hide because we're trying to shoot a pigeon. But we don't generally hide our faces because we've no reason to. Because what we're doing is completely legitimate and above board and legal. And we, we reasonable people, would look at them and say, well, yeah, you're entitled to your opinion, you're entitled to a Facebook group, you're entitled to protest at Westminster, you're entitled to vote, you're entitled to, to you know, say what you like. I mean, I hate to say it, 
it's very unpleasant, but you're even entitled to say the sorts of things Tommy Woodward said. Although, of course, not him personally, because of he, you know, he's a member of public office. But, you know, they can say that if they want to look, make themselves look bad. But what you can't do, what you can't do is start burning people's barns down and, and burning their houses down and, and, and posting people's details online and phoning up their boss and intimidating them and uh, hanging around and throwing eggs at them as they come out of work, as, which as many of these sorts of people do. My mum was a Crown Prosecutor for most of her life and she always said to me that real terrorism in the UK isn't the IRA and Al-Qaeda, it is animal rights activists. The amount she, of them she's prosecuted over the years for, for violent and destructive acts is, is unbelievable. Because these people are very, very unpleasant and um, non-empathetic people. You would think they were empathetic, given that they supposedly care about animals. But the truth is they don't care about animals. Tommy Woodward doesn't care about animals. Tommy Woodward just doesn't like people he perceives as a different social class to him. That's what it's all about. These people are basically um, you know, very left-wing extremist lunatics. And it's time that this came to the fore. This is time that this was made public. And I'm so proud of the shooting community here because we all got together and we made our voice heard. And we didn't let it stop there. We, we made sure that it got into the media so the public could start seeing what was going on. And now the public are going to see this and they're going to think, actually, these shooters are quite reasonable people. Whether we agree with them or not, they're not, you know, imposing themselves on anyone else. They're not harming or trying to hurt anyone else. They're just trying to, to go about their business. As well, these antis on the other side of the argument are basically extremists. They're terrorists of sorts in some cases. You know, these are the sorts of people who, you know, you really wouldn't want to meet down a dark alley. And you certainly want to meet them in the field when you're just trying to shoot your gun. Because they will attack you. Make no mistake. And so this is why it's good that this has come out. Because the public are going to see this and they're going to realise what sort of people Tommy Woodward represents. And they're going to see the sort of people that we represent, the sort of people we are. Which is not people like him. And he shouldn't be in public office. You know, this guy needs to be voted out. I mean, everyone was sort of calling for him to be sacked. Of course, he can't be sacked. He's an elective representative. Basque, of course... Uh, realising that, called for his resignation. And let's hope that he doesn't get elected again. Let's hope the people in his community who are going to hear about this are going to become more engaged with their local democracy and, and say, bloody hell, we are not letting this guy back in. But of course, like I said, it's not really about him. This is about the wider picture here. This is about us making our voices heard. And we've done that. So great going, guys. That's what we should be doing. So either way, I hope you enjoyed that. Like and subscribe.